Hello fellow Vault Dwellers, Kato Genesis here, bringing you a guide for Fallout 76. With the giant, brand new Appalachian wasteland to explore came some other difficulties in regards to carry weight and stash management. The goal here is to help you get the most out of your 400 weight stash limit, and to increase your character's carry capacity or reduce the weight of certain things you're carrying. This is more than just me telling you to raise your strength on a level up, that one's a given. Let's get started. Aid items is our first stop when it comes to inventory management. On the side of temporary buffs, things like buff out, cooked rad toad and rad stag, some alcohol, or a strength bobblehead can get you to that next workbench or stash to make it easier on yourself. On the flip side of that coin, do take into consideration how much you're carrying in chems, food and whatnot, because that will add up too. Do you need to carry 30 rad X? Probably not, especially if you have something like a radiation suit or power armor. If you're not using your Psycho, Buff Out, Mentats, and other cams of the like, those will sell pretty well at Protectron vendors. The same can be said for bobbleheads you're not using, excluding the strength one of course, always hold on to those. Unless your character has parasites, you won't be needing to hoard a ton of food or even water either. Since fresh food does spoil too, check towards the bottom for your spoiled items, because you can drop those or turn them into fertilizer. With Fallout 76 being so much about scavenging, it's fair to add a couple of points into strength when you level up. But also do take note that there are carry weight reduction perks for specific items, mostly in the strength category, but you can also find a couple in intelligence and agility. If you are way into looting and scavenging, at the very least I recommend one rank of Pack Rat, Traveling Pharmacy, both in strength, and Through Hiker, which is in agility. Take note that these perks only apply to the weight being carried on your character, not in your stash too. Strongback is an option too, which can give up to 40 carry weight for 4 points of strength. However, if you know what you carry more of, you will benefit more from the weight reduction perks instead. And the next section talks about getting bonuses like this without needing to use strength perks at all. Mutations are amazing randomized traits we get when taking in radiation. The couple of mutations I want to mention here though starts with the marsupial mutation. This is the one that dramatically increases your jump height, but also increases your carry weight pool by 20, at the cost of 4 intelligence. Herd mentality is also worth mentioning, because it gives a 2 point bonus to all of your special attributes including strength when you're in a group. However, that minus 2 when you go solo is pretty devastating. Now for the armor and mods section, if you're able to carry around extra pieces of armor to break down at an armor workbench, scrapping it will have a chance to teach you a modification for that armor. The mods we're hoping for here are the light, ultralight, pocketed, or deep pocketed, which respectively lower the weight of the armor or add to your capacity. Now here's a fun recycling trick. If you've ended up hoarding a whole bunch of armor making materials, why not use a good chunk of that to craft something you're already wearing, and after you craft those, break them all down one by one, in hopes of getting the modification you're looking for. This in turn is less wasteful than just dropping your surplus resources, and also doesn't leave them just sitting in your stash. The same recycling trick can be applied to weapons as well. There are many returning and new things about power armor. First and foremost, while worn, it will raise your strength to 10. So if you have a spare fusion core, you can pop right in there, and provided your strength is under 10, it will give you a little bit extra. Now, something new here is when you wear power armor for the first time, it is yours, and it goes back into your inventory, or you can just pick it up. The weight of the chassis when you're carrying it is just 10 points. However, if you look at the different power armor parts, you'll notice that they are sometimes quite a bit heavier than the chassis itself. Well, if you store them on the chassis and then put it in your inventory, it still maintains a weight of 10. So my advice here would be to have one set of power armor for yourself, but make sure you're storing as many parts as you can on the chassis even when it's not in use. Also scrapping power armor parts will rack up quite a bit of resources too. Ammunition has weight in Fallout 76. Little as it is for the smaller bullets, if you're not using them, you can rack up hundreds, and since the plan is to reduce weight, it's advised to toss out the ammo you're not using or give it to another vault dweller who uses it. Fusion and plasma cores, 40mm grenades, missiles, and especially mini nukes are all really heavy. So say you prefer rifles over pistols, why not toss out the pistol ammo? Or better yet, find another vault dweller you can exchange with if they use pistols. There are a couple of miscellaneous items you'll want to keep an eye on too. One of which is bobby pins after you've collected a few. If you're really bad at picking locks, maybe hold on to about 20 or 30. 
But if you're okay at it, there's no need to carry around more than 15. And also, gunpowder is in the miscellaneous category. And I've been advised that you don't really need more than 50 to 100 gunpowder, because there's even perks to pick up more ammo anyway. I didn't realize this because it didn't apply to my melee-based character, and by about level 40, I had 1400 gunpowder, which was 70 points of carrying capacity that I could have had. So keep an eye on your miscellaneous too. Now for what we probably hoard the most of, junk items. First I want to talk about the difference between junk items and scrapped components. Junk items are your teddy bears, your desk fans, tin cans, typewriters, that kind of thing. Scrapped components are what you get from them, so steel, aluminum, loose screws, leather, cloth, what have you. More often than not, junk items are heavier than their base components. So when you are going through and reducing the weight of your stash especially, make sure you don't have something sitting in there that you should have scrapped. This goes for equipment you're not using as well. If any of the scrapped components in your stash are reaching stacks of 75 to 100, it's probably a good time to use it or toss it out. An exclusion to this rule would be ballistic fiber. You always want more ballistic fiber. In fact, if you have a surplus of ballistic fiber, you can use it to trade with just about anybody for anything. Depending on your build though too, you can add your own exclusions like screws or springs or whatnot. But again, if there's multiple types of junk that are reaching the 75-100 mark, I'd advise you to start downsizing. If you're wondering what to do with your spare building materials, your steel, wood, and concrete, here's a more meta trick involving your camp's budget. Build a bunch of foundations, a bunch of walls, a bunch of work tables, all things you would normally use when you spawn your camp elsewhere. Just make sure you're not doing this in a public workshop. Now switch to edit mode, select them, and store them. This stores the materials you built it with, and an object you can use later at no cost, except the budget on the upper right hand side. Now unless you're building and storing defenses, you can get away with storing a lot of things this way. As a little bonus, food plants don't spoil if you store them like this also. I wanted to mention a recent discovery on this too. When I came back to check on my stored objects, not all of them were present. Whether there happens to be an issue with decaying on them, or something to do with server maintenance or whatnot, either way I figured that should be mentioned as well. Even with a chance of disappearing, still better than tossing out the materials entirely. Do you personally have any tips that work best for you? If so, please share it in the comments. That, my fellow vault dwellers, is a few tips when it comes to managing your inventory, your carry weight, and your stash. If you found this guide useful, entertaining, or both, do whatever it is you see fit to show that, and please consider supporting my channel on Patreon. If you'd like to see more Fallout 76 guides like this one, you know what to do. This is Kato Genesis. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a happy Reclamation Day.